Hey guys, we are back with some more New Jersey Devils franchise mode. And last time we made some more trades, we went through the regular season and we finished 26th, 25th in the league, I think. And uh, so we have a pretty decent chance at the first overall pick, but I'm not expecting it. So we're going to take a look at our progression, our pro progress reports. Got to take a look at those, got to get in the habit of looking at all of that. So, uh, Let's see, modifications, so Santini grew a little bit, he was a 76 to start the season, he's now a 78, so he should be full-time on the NHL roster next year, Nason grew a little bit, Ratchavina, uh, Wood grew a little bit, same with Zaka, I wish these two, Wood and Zaka, had a little bit better growth, because they definitely had the points to do it, um, Wood had, uh, I believe, 47 points, that is, and Zaka had 45 so, uh, I mean, I would have expected to see a little bit more growth out of them, but uh, what can you do? We'll, we'll probably see some growth out of them in the offseason jump, and uh, that's it for skaters. And then, of course, and uh, we'll check the AHL slash in the system. So, Mackenzie Blackwood grew to a 69. That's pretty good. He started out 66, so hopefully we see some growth out of him in the offseason. And uh, Nicholas Juleson and Jacob Zaboral. These guys are going to be uh, pretty pretty good for us on the defensive core of the future in uh, one or two years. So uh, expect them to be on the team pretty soon. And Blake Spears, whoa! <laughs> All right, so I told you guys at the beginning of this series, Blake Spears is usually a wild card. And lucky for us, he is already a 77 overall, starting at a 63. Take a look at this growth. Natural growth, passing, plus 10. Uh, deking plus nine, hand eye plus nine, puck control plus six, uh, offensive awareness plus eleven, uh, slap shot accuracy plus eleven, sh slap shot power plus nine, wrist shot power plus eight, uh, defensive awareness plus ten, so uh, shot blocking plus ten, stick checking plus eight. So this guy, he's really going to be. Uh, I think he'll be pretty good. Uh, skating wise, plus nine, plus nine, plus seven. I mean, pretty good there as well. And then strength plus eight. So, yeah, Blake Spears, expect him to be on the roster next year. Uh, Michael McLeod, he's a 68 now. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, Nathan Bastian, 65. So, I mean, we have some really good pieces. Uh, John Quilville, 72. And where is um, where is Guriano at? Uh, so, he's still at a 73. So, hopefully we see some growth out of him in the, uh, in the offseason. Because, I mean, all of these guys, Zaboral, Spears... Juleson, McLeod, Bastion, Quenville, and Gurianov, they're all 20 or younger. So we have a while with these guys. Uh, Blackwood is 20 as well. So we really have uh, we really have a lot of good good pieces here in New Jersey now. Uh, now that we've traded away some of our veterans for prospects. And I think what I want to do with Zajac is I want to trade him for picks at the draft. But obviously we can't do that right now. So let's simulate up to the draft and I'll see you guys there. All right, so the Stanley Cup champions are the Washington Capitals in year number one. And the Calder Cup champions are the Utica Comets. Let's stop the simulation here. Uh, there is all the salary information. So let's take a look at the awards, I guess, are available now at this point, I would hope. And uh, as well as the playoff trees. So let's take a look here, see who did what in the playoffs. So first round, Chicago beat Nashville in five. Minnesota beat Colorado in six. LA beat Edmonton in six. Calgary beat Saint, uh, not Saint Louis, San Jose in seven. Washington beat Pittsburgh in five. Columbus beat Philadelphia in seven. Uh, Toronto beat Montreal in six. New York beat Florida in five. Minnesota beat or uh, Chicago beat Minnesota in seven. Calgary beat LA in six. Washington beat Columbus in seven. New York beat Toronto in seven. Chicago beat Calgary in six. And Washington swept New York in four. And then Washington also swept the Chicago Blackhawks to win the Stanley Cup. So uh, what's interesting about this is that Dallas is not in the playoffs. So as a result, we get a lottery pick from that trade for Schneider. That was pretty good. Yeah, that was pretty good. I thought that would, I thought that would for sure make them a contender, but I guess not, uh, because you know they're not they're not there. So let's check out the awards. But that that's good. That's really good. 
that uh, Dallas is not in the playoffs this year. And Schneider's not getting any younger. So uh, hopefully <laughs> that means that the Dallas Stars won't be in the playoffs next year. I highly doubt it because they have, they have a really skilled team. They have guys like Tyler Sagan. They have Jamie Benn. They have Corey Schneider. They, they have uh, John Klingberg. So I don't, I'm not expecting them to miss two years in a row. But it's good that they miss this year. So, uh, yep, Washington Capitals are the Stanley Cup champions. President's Trophy, Columbus Blue Jackets. So it was, and it was Chicago versus Washington. Uh, and let's check out the player awards. Uh, Art Ross, there you go. Taylor Hall led the point scoring in the league. <laughs> that's, uh, that's interesting. Uh, Hart Memorial, Joe Thornton, James Norris, Drew Doughty, later being Jacob Voracek, Calder Memorial, Mitch Marner, uh, Con Smythe, Braden Holtby. Vesna Trophy, Devon Dubnik, and uh, Jennings Dubnik as well. Uh, Masterton, Zach Bogosian, Frank J. Selke, Ryan Getzlaff, Ted Lindsay Award, uh, Joe Thornton, and Maurice Richard, Alex Ovechkin as usual. So, uh, yeah, going to try to remember to do the rewards every year this time, boys, because I, uh, <laughs> I haven't been consistent about that. So, uh, yeah. So that's about it for that. We already looked at the awards, we already looked at the playoff tree, and we already looked at the player progression. So now we can go ahead to the draft, and we'll see where we're picking, and we'll also see the re also see the retirements. Hopefully, Clarkson retires, and I would imagine Elias will retire as well, like he did in real life just yesterday. <laughs> so, uh, ooh, okay, wow, so. Boys, we have the first overall pick, the third overall pick, and the twelfth overall pick. Ooh, that was a clutch trade to Winnipeg. I for I completely forgot about that trade to Winnipeg. I completely forgot about that. That was clutch. Ooh, that was a big trade. Those are two big trades right there. Oh man, I wasn't expecting that uh, that Winnipeg wouldn't be in the playoffs though. Man. That was a big trade. That was a big trade. That was franchise changing, actually. And with some luck from the draft, with some luck from the, uh, what's it called? The uh, lottery. Oh, man. So, yeah, as expected, Aliage retires. Mark Savard retires. Uh, this guy, Peltonen, retires. We just signed him for cap. And uh, no goaltenders retired. So, <laughs> we got a big draft coming up here, boys. We've got a big draft. <laughs> So uh, let's, first of all, let's start the draft here, and let's see what we get. But uh, first off, I don't want to pick right now. I just want to trade, I want to try to trade Zajac first, just get that out of the way, and uh, we'll make we'll make the pick in a bit. It's a good thing to, uh, oh, the time does run down. Okay, never mind, never mind. We'll do that, uh, we'll do that afterward. I don't want my time to run out too fast. So, let's see, let's see. Alright. What's going on here? Uh, Mole, Geyser, Patrick is supposed to go third. Velarde... <gasps> A franchise goaltender, are you kidding me? Christian Prop... Okay, that must have been, uh, that must have been one of the uh, edited players. Uh, it's a good thing we scouted goaltenders, because now I know who I'm picking. <laughs> First overall, Christian Prop. Welcome to the New Jersey Devils. Hi, franchise. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> I swear to God, boys. I didn't know that was going to happen. All right. All right. That was huge. That's a huge pick right there. Woo boy. All right, hold on. Let's check out his trade value. <laughs> that was big. That was big. All right, let's see. I would imagine his trade value is all the way up there. High franchise. I mean, that's... I don't think I've seen that. Well, then again, that was... Pr again, he was probably one of the edited players for the draft. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's all the way up there. Oh, okay, but here's the thing. He's only a 49 overall at 18 years old, so... Uh, how quickly he grows, I don't know. Um, what should we do with Prop this year, boys? He is a franchise. He has a high franchise potential, but he's only 49 overall. So I don't know 
how he would do in the AHL if he were to play there. Uh, so should we just leave him in juniors? Because I feel like that's what we should do. Because, as I said, he's only a 49 overall. So, yeah, this is definitely one, one of the uh, edited players, uh, edited franchise, uh, edited potential players in the uh, juniors that I edited. So, uh, yeah. So I'm thinking we play Blackwood in the AHL next year. And we just go with Wedgwood and Ratchavina. Because remember, uh, Rasmus Dolan is available next year. So we want to try to check tank once again for Dolan so we can get that uh, elite defenseman. So we already got the goaltender. We got the goaltender for sure. Now we need uh, we need defenseman and we need a center. So I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. We should go for if Patrick. Okay, so one of either Patrick or Hiche will be available when we pick. And, but it doesn't. It didn't look like Patrick was going until third, according to the game. So I guess we'll uh, hold on. Let's try to trade Zajac now. Now that it's not our pick. Yeah, I guess we could potentially get Nolan Patrick as well. That would be big. That would be really big. All right. So let's try to find his trade for Zajac. Uh, yeah. I mean Columbus. They have cap. They have cap. Let's see if we can uh, get him for a pick. Or and if we could do this without. Uh, you know, messing with his salary cap. That would be even better. Uh, oh, 45 skater. Let's try to find one where we don't have to take any skaters back. Uh, if we if we can't, then that's fine. We'll just go back to Columbus. But I'd prefer to find a uh, a better trade than that. So let's see. Uh, okay, so Florida, but they're over the cap. Uh, let's see. Anyone with under 45 contracts? Nope. 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 Uh, yeah, we might have to go to Columbus. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. All right. Yeah, so not a problem. I was just, I just wanted to see if we could, uh, milk as much value as we can out of this. We'll just take a, uh, we'll just take their lowest overall back. Uh, I guess we'll take this guy back since they want to give him up. Uh, it's 33. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right. Good, good. One year deal. Uh, let's see. So now we're going to go for picks and we should be able to get a second out of this at least. Uh, let's see. Here's the problem, though. Columbus doesn't have a doesn't have a second or a third for this year, and next year's draft. Even though I edited some of the prospects, I don't think it'll be as deep as this this year's draft. Can we get a first out of Columbus? Honest? No, I don't think so. I don't think that'll go through. Nah, yeah, yeah, that's not going through. I guess value wise, a second would be all right. It's just that that second may not be too much, but I guess I guess if we're dumping off Zajac's cap, then that'd be worth it. All right, let's try that. Uh, yeah, yeah, the salary of Travis Zajac. Yeah, uh, so we're gonna have to retain some of that. Let's try ten percent to start out. Will that go through? Nope. Okay, we'll try fifteen percent. Hopefully that goes through. Nope. All right, <laughs> man. Yeah, uh, Zajac's really on an awful deal right here. Uh, let's try this. Really? Okay. I'll go up. I'll try uh, 25. We'll just go 5% increments. Nope. All right. 30. Man. Yeah, Zajac's really on a bad contract here. All right. Trade accepted. Perfect. Perfect. So we got something for Zajac. We only retain 30% of his cap for the next, what, four years? I mean, that's not that big of a deal. And I don't see, I don't see us needing that, um, that salary for the next three years anyway and then that'll be only one year left so that's not a problem that's not a problem i think we only retained like 1.8 was it anyway so that's not that big of a deal we could always work around that so arizona's picking let's see if they, actually let's see if they want to give that up because i'd be willing to trade head and reek for this straight no 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 yeah that's that's too much that's too much we'll just let arizona pick uh some pick uh they chose the high elite power forward team mo so that must <laughs> that must be one of those uh, edited players once again. So Nolan Patrick is still available. So is Nico Hiche. Uh, yeah, this this uh, Geiser guy. Uh, no, no, no. We have we would have to take Patrick. He's got the high top six. Yeah, because Geiser that looks like a medium top six. If I had to guess, yeah, Patrick is a. We know Patrick is at least a medium elite for sure. Uh, I know Velarde is a medium elite as well, 
But Patrick, man, Patrick can get it done. Uh, especially if he turns into sort of a playmaker. I know he's a power forward, but they could still get assists. Uh, yeah, and I'll just find like a, a playmaker for a right wing or something to go alongside Taylor Hall and uh, Nolan Patrick. Yeah, you know what? I like that. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I like that. I, we're getting Nolan Patrick, so yeah, there you go. Welcome to the team, Nolan Patrick, medium elite perfect. All right, so uh, can we trade for another top five pick? I don't think so. I don't think any of these teams would want to give up yet. Yeah, and I don't think New York would want to give up theirs. Man, New York really. <laughs> New York, New York, yeah, they don't want to give that up, figures. Yeah, I, I, I thought so. So, yeah, New York really got fleeced. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? It was good for us because we got that first overall pick and that clutch trade to Winnipeg netted us with Nolan Patrick. So that that, that was a pretty good decision to trade Mike Camilleri and Ben Lovejoy for, for uh, Nolan Patrick effectively. That was that was a good idea. All right, and we still have the 12th overall picks too, so we may as well use it here. Uh, we may as well get a defenseman because we're pretty short on defenseman, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, Rasmussen is available though. Ooh, Lilligren, Lilligren, Lilligren. Hold on here. Lilligren. You know what? Ooh, a Swedish combination of Lilligren and Dahlin next year. Ooh, you know what? I like that. Yeah, I think I think we need, uh, yeah, we need Lilligren. We need Lilligren right here. I'm picking Lilligren. Hopefully, he's a medium elite. Yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. All right, boys. Things are starting to shape up for the New Jersey Devils. Just one year in, and we already have a solid prospect core. Uh, look at this. Look at this now. I'm going to go to the trade screen and show you guys our prospects here. All right, so Lilligren's trade value is uh, about half of where it should be, so he's probably not going to be too much. And uh, look at that. Nolan Patrick is a 77 overall, so so he should be ready for year one. Or uh, not year one, but, well, next year. <laughs> um, but Lilligren may take a little while, but he will still be an NHL defenseman. Hopefully, he could get up that top two. I don't think he will, just based off his tra trade value. But maybe he'll get to like an 87, 88 overall. So, that's still that's still good. That's still really good for Timothy Lilligren. And then next year, we get Rasmus Dahlin. And, man, we are set. So, uh, but we'll go. We'll start by age. Uh, Nolan Patrick, Lilligren, Bastion, McLeod, uh, uh, Gurianov, Zaborl, Zaka, Juleson, Spears, who was already a 77 overall. Miles Wood, 84 overall for Miles Wood. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're definitely, uh, we're definitely in a good position for next year for young players. Quenville, I mean, we got so many. Uh, Severson as well. He's only 22, right? Uh, uh, Santini, only 22 as well. And uh, if we take a look at goaltenders, obviously, the big fish of the, uh, the cream of the crop right here in uh in uh prop the cream of the crop prop okay that was not intentional i swear <laughs> uh christian prop and then as well as Mackenzie blackwood you know he could potentially be a backup for us of the future so we're really starting to get a lot of uh uh we're getting a lot of a uh, lot of good pieces here in new jersey now so that's really good that's really good i'm liking our prospect pool now boys i am liking it all right so uh yeah simulate ahead and uh, we we do have a lot of picks. We're already twenty one minutes in. My God, yeah, we gotta we gotta speed this up a little bit. We have we have a lot of picks here, boys. I think we have like twenty. I'm pretty sure. So there's somewhere around there. So we gotta get through this here as quickly as we can. So uh, let's see, let's see. Langan, high top nine. He's probably gonna be a medium top six. If I if I had to guess, uh, yeah, you know what? We could use a two way forward as well. Let's take this guy, Langan. Let's see what he is. Uh, low top six. All right. So, I mean, that's not that bad. I mean, especially we've, we've seen low top six, sixes grow before, you know, uh, Blake Spears, for example. So, I'm not mad about that pick. Let's see. Let's see. 44th overall. Uh, low backup. He'll probably be like a medium starter. That could be some good value right there. Yuri Galiev. Uh, let's see. Let's sort by potential, though. Uh, ooh, Jeremy Brodeur is in there. Uh, he, he goes in the second round, apparently. Uh, should we draft Broder? You know what? You know what? <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take him. Let's see what he turns out to be. Jeremy Broder. Uh, oh, low elite. Man. All right. So, yeah, I think I, I might have edited Broder. I'm not sure, but I, I didn't think he would be in the draft. 
to be fair though. So that's good. That's good. Again, I wasn't looking at any names while I was editing the potentials, so I that was completely random that Jeremy Broder just happened to be a lowly. So let's see. Let's see. Uh, Lind is available. He doesn't go to the fourth round, though. So let's see if we can get someone like uh, nah, Studnika. No, 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 no. Let's see. Hmm. All right, let's see. Is there anyone else available here? Uh, doesn't look like anyone worth drafting in the second round so you know what we will draft uh lind either lind or mackinan yeah you know what lind we'll, we'll draft lind here and hopefully he turns out to be a all right yeah. <laughs> low top six once again so again i'm not mad about that pick low top six we've seen them grow before so hopefully he turns out to be something if anything he's trade bait for the first couple of years that we have him if we want to trade him all right, so let's see. Uh, a coin. Uh, Daniels. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Nyman, Coleman, Klima, Kozlov. Uh, okay, so let's check goaltenders because usually goaltenders are have, have a pretty good value on them. Uh, let's see. So these guys don't go to the, until the seventh round. So I'm going to take one of these guys. High HL starter. That could be... One of these guys could be a starter potential. I'm thinking we'll we'll try Daniels here and we'll see what he turns out to be. And that is a fringe starter. Okay, medium fringe starter. Not bad. Not bad. That's again, that's trade value if anything. And uh, I mean, we already have so many goaltenders, so he's probably going to be trade bait anyway. <laughs> I mean, especially with uh especially with prop. And uh let's see. We'll take a defenseman now. We'll take a coin. I'll probably be a good depth defenseman. A high HL top 2. So High potential, I'm not mad about that. That could still turn, he could still not turn out to be something. Because if you remember, actually, didn't the Devils have uh, this guy a coin in uh, the Halifax GM mode? I seem to remember that. Yeah, I think they did. So that's that's a good pick. That's a good pick. He was solid defensively for them, I, I believe, in the playoffs as well. When we were up against them. Uh, let's see. So Bear. Uh, Dadashanov. Let's see. Bellarive. Ask you, Hedberg. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's sort by potential again. Let's see if there's anyone uh, who's a, who's an exact like top nine or something. No, no, no. it's all exact AHL starters. Okay, so we'll just uh, we'll just take one of these guys. Actually, high backup. These are both high backups. We'll take uh, Marmonland. This guy. Maybe he'll be a uh, all right medium fridge starter. Perfect. Again, trade value. Trade value. Uh, that's that's really what's it about. What it's about at this point. And, uh, you know, I'm not mad about that pick. I'm really not. That's, uh, that's a pretty good pick. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Uh, Hedberg, I think that would be a medium seventh. Uh, let's see. I'll take this guy. High HL starter. That might be a, might be like a starter potential. Let's see. Uh, high backup. Okay. All right. That works. That works. Not mad about that. Again, those high potentials, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Uh, let's see. Come on out. There you go. Still in the fourth round now. Yeah, we have a lot of picks. Uh, we'll take Olsen. He, he gets to be, you know, pretty good. Yeah, low top nine grinder. There you go. All right, let's see. Do we have another fourth round pick? Nope, we're in the fifth round now, but we still have a lot of fifth round picks as well. And sixth and seventh. Yeah, we, we're oh, 26 minutes in. Yeah, we got we to gotta hurry up here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I mean, I don't have a time limit, but it's like, it's, <laughs> I prefer not to have a video that long. Because, uh, you know, more rendering time and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. <sighs> low AHL top six. Would that be like a low top nine forward? I feel like that would be a low top nine. So, yeah, we'll, we'll go for this guy. Uh, yep, perfect. All right, I'm starting to read the draft a lot better now, boys. All right, so there you go. We got a low top nine. Yeah, our prospects are really starting to fill up now, boys. Our prospects are really starting to fill up. All right, so let's go for another goaltender because, again, they usually have more value anyway. Let's take this guy, Hallinan, because he's supposed to go in the seventh round. All right, there you go. Medium fringe starter. Again, trade value. Trade value. Uh, so we're we're pretty set. And uh, I'm, I'm, as far as I'm concerned, a medium fringe starter is worth more than a fifth round pick. So that was a good pick. That was a good pick. Uh, let's see. 
Anyone else? Hmm. Let's go for the high backup here in Vevelanen. I'm guessing medium fringe starter. Yep. All right. I, once again, medium fringe starter. Worth more than a fifth round pick. All right. Round number six. Let's see what we have. Probably just get another goaltender. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll just get another goaltender. Yeah, they have the most value. Yeah, Osala, welcome to the team. Uh, medium for sure. I mean, look at all that. Look at all that. That's that's really good, actually, in terms of trade value for what we're bringing on. All right, let's see. Let's see. Anyone here? Anyone here? Uh, doesn't look like too many good ones left. We'll just, I guess we'll just keep taking goaltenders. <laughs> Again, they have the most value, especially, uh, especially the high, the high potentials. We'll take this guy Lettinen. See what he turns out to be. Low backup. All right. I mean, NHL potential right there. That's, as far as I'm concerned, that's more than that's worth more than a six round pick. So, solid, really solid draft actually might be one of my best drafts ever i mean i know that i edited some of the draft players but that was just so that we could have a uh you know a better draft experience and and well really every so that every team could have a better draft experience and i wasn't counting on drafting any of those players just to be clear <laughs> so and i wasn't i was not anywhere near expecting getting the first overall pick this year that was that was just that was luck <laughs> uh let's see We'll take this hug guy. Sure, why not? Take a chance on him. There you go. Two-way forward. Medium bottom six. I'm not complaining about that, especially with the draft we've had so far. And seventh round pick. Here we go. Should be one of our last picks. Should be. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think we did have two seventh round picks, though. So let's see. Let's see. Who are we taking? Yeah, we'll just take another. I mean, why not? <laughs> Carlito, uh, medium backup. Uh, again, a lot of value right there. All right, yeah, this should be our last pick right here. This should be our last pick. 192nd overall. We'll just take another goaltender because why not? <laughs> we've already gone for, we've already gone for a lot here. So Masilo and a medium backup. There you go. Rest of the draft simulated. I mean, boys, we had a solid draft i mean look at all these players prop patrick Liljegren, langan broder lind daniels a coin marmaland uh, uh Vila vilalta olsen mahavich Mah Mah mahavlich hallinen vevelanen osala lettinen hug carletto and masilo and uh we are looking pretty good here <laughs> uh, let's check by round just to see who got what? So mole. Uh, we'll we'll check out Arizona. We'll check out the New York Islanders. Geeser. Check out Comtois and the Vancouver Canucks. Velarde went to St. Louis. Hiche went to Detroit. Uh, Shishko went to Buffalo. Uh, Thielander, Thylander, whatever. How you however you pronounce that went to Carolina. Uh, Lily Grant, of course, we got Veselainen went to Anaheim. Callen Foot went to Tampa Bay. Rasmussen went to Boston. Uh, let's see any other names I recognize. Uh, Elias Anderson went to Toronto. Uh, Rizika went to Pittsburgh. Uh, Strom went to San Jose. Uh, Tippett went to Arizona. And uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> so, boys, we got really lucky. It's safe to say the hockey gods were on our side this year uh, for sure. So, let's go to the resign phase really quick just to see. And, uh, but man, it's, it's already a long episode, so I'm going to have to end it when we, uh, get to the resign stage. Cause yeah, it's really long. We're over 30 minutes already. My God. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's just check out, check out our, who we got to resign really quick. Uh, yeah. So we got a bunch of garbage and then a bunch of prospects to sign. So nothing really too important. Yeah. We don't have any, uh, we have Severson to sign and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of veterans or in terms of actual roster players that's about it so boys i'll see you guys in the next one and the future for the new jersey devils is looking a lot brighter right now see you guys in the next one <laughs>